Hi and welcome back. Today's video is about analyzing behavior of light using Snell's law. Analyzing the behavior of light using Snell's laws. Now, as we know that there are two Snell laws, so first one is called law of reflection. So this law allows us to analyze the phenomena of reflection, which means that if we have a reflecting surface here and we short of put a ray of light on this reflecting surface and it get reflected, we can establish always that this angle which we defined earlier as angle of instance and angle of refraction, sorry angle of reflection are equal and this incident ray, this normal and this reflected ray are always in the same play. So we said that angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. And we proved that using experiments. Sorry, this is alpha here. Okay. So now let's use this law in different scenarios and try and understand how the Snell's law works. So suppose uh, we start with, let's say we have a mirror here. So we know the mirror, uh, we can show the mirror like this shows that this is the portion which is going to reflect the right and we are going to bring some light rays so we say there's a light ray coming like this and it's going to hit the mirror like this and we need to find out how the light will be reflected. So first thing first, we need to always draw perpendicular line to the surface of the mirror which we call the normal. So this line we draw is 90 degrees to the mirror. Now this angle, now this angle we always take from the normal is called the angle of incidence which is I and now the Snell's law tells us that this light ray coming like this will hit the mirror at this point and then turn back in this direction at a certain angle beta and this beta is always going to be equal to i or angle of incidence. So this is how the light ray coming hitting the mirror and going back at the same angle. This we have proven many times. Now the question is suppose we have instead of a plane mirror we have a mirror of concave shape. The mirror is like this. So now how the light will behave? Always remember in all the cases the Snell's law is going to work. So first we are going to instant array here like this. At the point it is going to meet the mirror, let's say O. In order to apply Snell's law, we need to first draw a normal to this point and this is going to be perpendicular line to the mirror. And as we can see, there is no angle of incidence is zero, so the light will reflect back like this. So the light will come here at this point and reflect back like this. Now what happens if the light ray is going to hit over here? The ray of light is going to come and hit over here. 
So now again we need to first draw the perpendicular to the point of incidence. Now the mirror here can be considered as a plane mirror but very small. It's something like this normal. Right? Now we are going to draw a perpendicular to this normal which will be like this. Now as we know that this is going to be our angle of incidence and the light is coming like this and this is the normal so it is going to get reflected in this direction at an angle beta and i is going to be equal to beta. Similarly, we can try it here. So this is a ray of light in any direction it is coming. Let's say this direction, the ray of light is coming. Now we have to first find the normal. So we are going to draw a line tangent to the curve. So roughly this is our normal. And from this normal, sorry, this is the surface and we are going to draw a normal here. So this is our normal. This is going to be our angle of incidence and the right is going to be turning like this at an angle beta and this alpha is always equal to beta. So using simple scale of reflection we can apply in various cases not only in the case of plane mirror but even a convex mirror and we can try the same in case of a convex concave mirror right. So here we have our concave mirror. So let's draw the concave mirror. Looks like this. And now let a ray of light fall right at the center like this. First, we need to find the normal. In this case, as it is falling at the center, the normal is directly here and perpendicular to it. So it is falling in the direction of normal. So in this case, the ray of light will come like this. So we, the ray of light come like this, come here, get reflected in the same direction. Now we can apply the same theory and try and find what will happen to the ray of light, which is going to come from here and hit the mirror like this. So first thing first, we need to find the normal. So this is our surface and draw a tangent to it and then a perpendicular to it. So this is our normal which is at 90 degrees. So to the surface this is our normal at 90 degrees and this is going to be our angle of incidence and the ray of light is going to get reflected from the mirror at an angle beta and this i is always going to be equal to beta. So what we are trying to do and suggest you is that all the reflections in the world will follow a snail's law, doesn't matter the curvature of the surface and things like that, right? So we can derive the behavior of a concave mirror or a convex mirror using Snell's law. So all these uh, mirrors or any optical instrument which reflects the right will always follow the Snell's law. So that is our concept number one. We can type it here. All optical Snails now reflection and we can derive the behavior of light. So this is our concept number one. 
it's very important to understand that the Snell's law is basically applicable across optical instruments and such as any refracting surface for that 